Hello, I've got a 2007 4.0 Ford Mustang. Um, head gaskets blew on it, uh, both sides. Customer just ran it too long. Uh, so he brought the car to me. I had the engine, the uh, heads rebuilt, put everything back together. Customer bought all the components and I should have made a suggestion to him and he wound up buying new injectors, uh, spark plugs and a, a head gasket kit. And as soon as we got everything running, you know, all put back together and all that, check a, got a check engine light right away. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe just got to blow some stuff out, you know, from all the uh, stuff that was going through the exhaust when the head gasket blew in. They'll tell him, run it for a couple of days. And he ran in, then, you know, he said, you know, it's getting worse. So then he brought it to me, uh, number five uh, cylinder, the wire was up against the exhaust. A tube on the EGR so it kind of ruined that cable so we just put a new set on there it ran a little better but still a check engine, check engine light came on um, so then he asked me to change the O2 sensors and both O2 sensors uh, the codes were coming up P2196 P2197 and I told him I don't think it's that you know I told him but you know I changed them out it didn't help the issue uh, he read us uh, uh, some feeds online and he said you know let's try the coil pack and he goes well usually a coil pack won't go bad with with the uh, blown head gaskets but you're right we'll change that but but then by this time i said you know we got to change out the spark plugs they are so fouled um as we all know when you have you know spark plugs that are all carboned up they start to foul you don't get you know the performance out of them so wound up that he bought inferior spark plugs so I put in the proper ones by this point you know we're just not making any headway on this thing so I got my inductive light um, and put the clamp on each spark plug cable and only one of the cylinders was firing properly because you can see the flash you know if you have any interruptions or anything and you know enemy intermediate flashes you know you're fouling on that cylinder so then you know, I came to a conclusion that it was a few injectors. I then asked him, you know, about the injectors. Oh yeah, I just got them online and, you know, and I was thinking, oh great, he got inferior uh, fuel injectors. By this point, I just took it upon myself and bought the fuel injectors and, you know, swapped them out. It was a little bit of work, but um, as soon as I started the engine up, it just ran so much smoother and i think two of the spark plugs were fouled that's because it was running so rich so i took it out took it out for a drive and 15 minutes later came back and run a lot it ran a lot smoother and then this morning uh fired it up again and took it out for another drive came back and yeah that that engine is just humming now so um for the P2196, P2197, um, if you're running rich, you're probably looking at fuel injectors. Run a fuel injector cleaner. I used to be against additives for fuel, but I've got a 2014 Prius. I dropped down to 27 miles to the gallon. And I said, great, what's going on? You know, dumped in, uh, did two treatments, uh, two bottle treatments of fuel injector cleaner. Uh, and make sure you make do the right ratio, you know, for how many gallons you're putting in or your tank holds and put in the right ratio. If you put a little extra, you know, it won't hurt it, but you're just going to be, you know, throwing away that extra when, um, if you can do two, uh, two treatments, two tank holds out of one uh, bottle injector cleaner. And man, it, my fuel mileage went back up to 47, 48 miles to the gallon. So if you have a car that has, you know quite a bit of miles you know 50 60 70 thousand miles put in a bottle of fuel injector cleaner i use the chevron one from autozone and believe me it makes a difference i wouldn't use it use it in every tank full maybe every seven eight nine ten tank fulls just to ensure that you're keeping your injectors clean okay well i hope this helps and um if you guys have any comments you know go ahead and you know, post them, positive, negative, you know, if you have suggestions, you know, great.
All right. Well, talk to you soon. Bye.